Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 22nd of November. Complex little forecast for the rest of this week. One thing we're confident about, it will be very warm through Thanksgiving. It turns sharply colder on Friday. Uh, when will the rain come? How cold? Well, let's see. We'll figure all this stuff out. Let's go right to our Skycam shots around the network. First off, uh, some sunrise shots from this morning. I thought those are great. That's coming from Tuscaloosa, from Jasper. And from the University of Montevallo. And this afternoon, the sky looks just as nice. That's the uh, Gadsden Sky Cam looking east. You can see the Coos River there off in the distance and a very mild afternoon. There's a water vapor satellite shot. And again, we've got that big, deep, cold trough out west. It is so cold up there and so warm down here with that ridge nosing in from the Gulf. And there's your front. And again, it's an amazing contrast. Uh, you go from like, uh, what, 32 in uh, Kansas, down to about 80 at Oklahoma City. I mean, we're talking almost a 50-degree swing on either side of that Arctic front. You can see the uh, numbers are still below zero at uh, early afternoon over Montana. There's a look at the temperatures around the nation. Around here, we're in the 70s. Feels great. Uh, Mid-70s. And uh, look at the cold air just covering so much of the uh, northern part of the continent, nosing down into Montana uh, we had uh, a guest on Weather Brains, our weekly internet show about weather this morning, where a guy was up in that cold air mass, and he had about uh, 18 inches of snow on the ground in Montana. So it's a winter wonderland up there and brutally cold. As you might expect, with such a thermal contrast, we got a, a severe weather issue now, a, a slight risk of severe weather for places like Chicago, St. Louis, almost up to Milwaukee and Grand Rapids, and there is a tornado watch in effect uh, almost to the Chicago land area, and you can see some big storms firing in that region. There's also a tornado watch farther north that includes Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, so again, that's uh, now on day three, which is Wednesday, there's a low end 5% probability of severe weather for places like Little Rock and St. Louis and Memphis. And again, we might see a strong storm Thursday night when the front finally gets in here, but it does not look like a major classic severe weather setup. And there's the big watch warning wrap around the nation. And uh, you can see the tornado watches over parts of the Midwest. And look at all the winter weather issues in the western states. Uh, winter storm watches and warnings for the mountains. Uh, parts of, in fact, all of North Dakota under winter storm uh, uh, watch. And it's just a snowy, cold mess if you're traveling up through there. And the QPF chart, this is the expected precipitation around the country for the next five days. The big numbers are a bit north of here. Uh, Memphis, Nashville, Louisville, uh, Cincinnati, perhaps getting uh, three inches of rain. This is valid between now and Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And in Alabama, the amounts taper off from about an inch and a half near the Tennessee Valley down to a tenth of an inch uh, near Mobile Bay. And uh, so certainly it looks like the heaviest rain will be a little north of Interstate 20, but certainly everybody should see at least a couple of rounds of uh, showers and thunderstorms this week. We'll check the modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, the global forecast system, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. This uh, level is 500 millibars. There's your cold trough out west. Warm 588 ridge over Florida and the Gulf. And again tomorrow, the cold front tries. It tries to get in here. This run a little faster with the showers and storms, so it looks like we might want to hit the uh, chance of showers and storms a little harder late tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow evening. Uh, still, be, we're in the 70s tomorrow, and that might bring one half inch of rain. Severe weather, unlikely. But what's going to happen, that front's going to become parallel to the upper flow. A strong south wind kicks in, and it lifts north. And there's Wednesday. You can see the strong south winds. And really, Wednesday should be relatively dry. And any day this week, there'll be enough moisture for a few showers in isolated spots, but they should be isolated. And the NAM is pretty aggressive on the warmth on Wednesday. They, they're showing a high of 77 on that model. Uh, the GFS is not as warm with 72. Whatever, Wednesday should be relatively dry, muggy, warm for November. And, of course, that's the big travel day of the year. So, again, pick out your destination. Better chance of rain, Dallas-Fort Worth, Little Rock, St. Louis. Chance of big snows maybe in uh, Colorado. Denver's airport could have a problem with uh, delays on Wednesday because of snow. Big snows up in parts of uh, the Dakotas and Minnesota. The east is relatively quiet. Cities like Washington, Baltimore, New York City, and Boston. 
Let's go to Thanksgiving Day. That front just having a hard time getting in here. Uh, the, the upper air winds are not configured to just push it through in a heartbeat, and this run really is even slower. Uh, and again, for Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, this suggests it's going to be very warm, mid-70s. There could be a shower, but nothing especially widespread. And then we'll go to Friday at noon, and you can see that the uh, vorticity is kind of channeled in the upper airflow. It's not a classic uh, advection situation to push a front through here in a hurry. And there's the uh, surface chart, and the front is still at Nashville at noon on Friday, uh, Memphis and, and Shreveport. So if this is right, Friday could be a, a relatively wet day and a cool day. Uh, we'll be in the, the mid-40s probably all day with that cold air creeping in at the surface and uh, just rain. So my concern is that it's going to rain at the Alabama-Auburn game. I know that uh, you know a while back we thought it might be over in time for the game, and it still might be. But at this phase of the game, I think based on the model trends, no doubt we have to look at a pretty decent chance of light rain for the Iron Bowl. Uh, very chilly with temperatures in the 40s, a brisk north breeze, just kind of raw. We'll check the European. This is valid uh, at the same time, noon Friday. Same deal. It's got the front near Muscle Shoals. So this is suggesting some rain definitely possible in the Friday afternoon. And the Canadian, this is valid at 6 o'clock Friday evening. And, uh, again, it's got the rain ending at that point. So uh, Friday just looks cold and raw and damp with light rain falling at times, a strong north wind, temperatures in the 40s, not exactly your Chamber of Commerce day for shopping or the Alabama-Auburn game, which is a 1.30 kickoff in Tuscaloosa. Now, Saturday looks fine. Uh, we should start the day in the 20s. We'll warm up nicely with a high close to 60. And Sunday, low 60s are likely. And again, that should be dry. So Saturday and Sunday look sunny with a warming trend. Now, next week on Monday, a week from today, trough to the northwest. Looks kind of wet, maybe stormy. And then the following day, uh, the 30th of November, last day of the month, the air turns colder and drier. Okay, let's dig into voodoo country. How about December 5th? Oh, yeah. Cold vortex over the upper Midwest. Look at the cold air flooding the country. And yeah, come on now. Surface low near Tallahassee with a chance of snow maybe for Muscle Shoals and Tupelo in Nashville. A cold rain elsewhere. And on the 6th, uh, that surface low moves northeast. Cold air pulls south. Rain changing to snow. Yeah, this is voodoo country. This thing will probably be gone. Could it happen? Sure. But uh, probably won't. We rarely have major snows in December can happen though we'll see we'll watch the trends and on the 8th of december at the end of the forecast period just kind of cold and dry and yeah now come on look at the negative nao spike uh through the end of this month and into uh, uh early december traditionally that would suggest general long wave troughing over the east and generally speaking colder than average air for the east and the deep south around here. So we'll just have to see how it all plays out. Uh, it will be a very interesting couple of weeks for forecasting, that's for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's News Leader.